This concept is exquisitely high yield for the US MLE. So can you guess the likely diagnosis? So we have a 26 year old female presents after passing tissue vaginally at 12 weeks gestation. A dilatation and curatage, which is a DNC, is performed and microscopic evaluation notes swollen chorionic villi and focal trophoblastic proliferation. So let's think like the test baker. Whenever you see passing of tissue vaginally or vaginal bleeding in the first trimester, you must think about first trimester complications. These specifically are going to include your abortion syndromes as well as molar pregnancies. Now, with the swollen chorionic villi and focal trophoblastic proliferation, this is not a normal pregnancy. This actually is alluding to a hydatidiform mole. Now, if I was in the exam room, I would be stuck between answer choice B, complete hydatidiform mole, and answer choice C, partial hydatidiform mole. So, how do you tell the difference? The key to this question is the focal trophoblastic proliferation. That indicates that there could be some fetal parts. So if there are partial fetal parts, think about a partial hydatidiform mole, which is the correct answer. Let's just compare and contrast partial versus complete hydatidiform mole. If it was a complete hydatidiform mole, the vignette would be changed from not focal, but diffuse trophoblastic proliferation. Another differentiating factor between complete and partial hydatidiform mole that I didn't put in this question, but comes up on UWorld questions is the P27 immunostain. Now, the P27 stain is going to be positive whenever there is going to be partial fetal parts. So, a partial hydatidiform mole is going to have a positive P27 test, whereas a complete is going to be P27 negative. If you like this question, check out my free 120 at MedSchoolGuru.